All right, hey guys, Fitz back here. So we're gonna be going to our next game here. It's been uh, it's been about a day or two since I've last recorded, but I am uploading uh, two days ago's recordings uh, just right now. So, anyways, this is be game number two between Team Messages Sheepdog spawning here on the top left on Dante's Peak uh, SE uh, version 2.0. Uh, and his opponent will be the Blue Terran, uh, Insanity Without Limits, Fat Man here. So this is going to be a pretty good game. Fat Man kind of came out unexpectedly as the winner last game, in my opinion, at least. Uh, you know, there were, I mean, it, I guess I, could, I couldn't really say either player was really going to, was either ahead because they kept him trading. But again, I think it kind of goes back to the fact that we didn't, we didn't really see much of a transition from Sheepdog, uh, you know, consistently up the, the Ling Lurker. But eventually Fat Man was just like, well, I'll just get tanks out and just kind of, beat that composition with tanks because you know you have to keep in mind it, that pretty much hard counters bio anyway but because of that you know but uh yeah so I, I'll, I'll be excited dante's peak though let's just familiarize myself with the snapping here so okay so it's kind of like a sniper's ridge in, in some regards you know you still have these ridges up here Fair, it's like it's like a, a sniper's ridge literally speaking um the third's a little bit different the third's a little bit different um but kind of like the fourth is kind of like the same thing on Sniper's Ridge. What well, the third would be. You may, that's what I'm saying. Like the third is kind of like this, where it's off the ridge and you have to go up here. But yeah, so it's like it's like a Sniper's Ridge like shifted like 15 degrees. It's probably what the best way to identify this map as. Uh, Red apparently is clicking on everything. I don't, I don't really know what he's doing, but what what, what can I what can I do, right? Alright, so it, it, Sheepdog should be scouting with the wrong direction of his overlord to the east, uh, instead of going south right now. Uh, one of the overlords is going southbound down to Fat Man, so basically we should be able to get a scout off. Uh, and it appears to be a one, uh, one barracks expand, uh, if I could not be mistaken. Um, he may put down a second barracks, he may. Uh, I don't think he's gonna do some aggression with this. Um, you know, with a hatch before pool build, uh, you know, a marine or two might be able to snag one or two drone kills, potentially. Uh, this is probably more just for scouting purposes anyway, but he could try to put on some aggression. Again, it's a four-player map. Uh, his SCV scout is yet to actually get to the right location as well, so when this SCV gets up to the top right, uh, he should be able to find out uh, where the actual spawn location is from Sheepdog, as he has not seen on the top left, and that's the only other spawn location he could spawn in. Um, yeah, so, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. No big deal. Just getting some water. I went to Boston today. That was fun. Didn't really do much though, I just got my birth certificate and that was pretty much the three hours that we were in Boston for. Alright, so Hatchery's down. Um, so it looks like he's gonna try to bunker rush here. Um. And it's really all you can do against Zerg in, in the really, really early, early stages of the game if you want to be Terran. Uh, more, more or less because of, uh, well, Lings can really, really put the damage onto Marine. If you can get them inside the bunker, though, uh, which actually makes it really difficult, especially with drones drilling at the Marines. It doesn't look, it looks like this should be thwarted there. The SV's dead, bunker should be cancelled eventually speaking. And, uh, I mean, it wasn't that effect, uh, you know, successful. I wouldn't be surprised when we put down a bunker than a command center. Just as I kind of fling run by, but anything can happen. StarCraft. And anything can happen in StarCraft. Uh, so this Marine's like rallied over here. Maybe just trying to get scout off. Uh, we do have a creep colony and a third hatch going down. So it's probably going to be looking like three hatch meat lists. Um, but oddly enough, no gas quite yet. Um, I, th I think it's just more or less because of aggression happened. And, you know, Sheepdog got a little off track of where his stuff is gonna go but again he kind of did like the same kind of awkward build right, was this him last I i'm trying to remember it's been like two days i've right, been trying to get that uh that that gas now this wasn't the really scrappy game i don't think i'm not sure if this was like the really half an hour like both players really didn't know what they were doing kind of game but no 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 that no 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 that was a complete that was a different set uh that excuse me about that all right, so we have an eBay going down, so potentially plus one is stim timing again, but there we go down the bunker, and there goes down the CC right there. These links aren't going to do anything. Uh, I don't, that, that is definitely not tight, but it's going to make it pretty much impossible for slow zerglings, even speedlings, will have a difficult time getting through that. Uh, he could try to link bust later on. That may what he may want to go for uh, as the second, the, the, 
10 gas is not yet taken, but we shall see. Now, does he, is he started? Uh, no, he is not. He's still at, um, he still does not have uh, metabolic boost ready or speed for his zerglings because, well, let's be honest here. He just didn't get it. I don't really know what to follow that up with. Uh, but All right, so anyway, yeah, he's definitely, he's got to go like stim plus one's timing. That's, that's just be silly if he didn't. Uh, he's putting down the second bear trade right now. Uh, let's see if I can get these going right here. Fat man. And that's funny. We don't care about funny right now. Nope, that guy we don't care about either. All right, so it's 24 drones, 26 SCV. So, uh, you know, Sheepdog's been, you know, been droning up pretty hard. We do have a third base going down right here at the 12 o'clock. Just place down right there. And just going to be scouting for any far off locations that are coming from Sheepdog with these ex uh, external links here. And we're up to seven Marines. You know, not the greatest number as he did lose three of them from that earlier engagement. Uh, which will definitely, you know, not make the stim plus one timing push if he's going to go for that. Which it appears like he will. It won't be as powerful. Uh, but still powerful nonetheless. Just just a little weaker. Um, now, would he do that at the same pressure? I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, generally speaking, you, he, that's like a two barracks you know, timing. And he's getting up to five barracks now. So I, I doubt it. I, I doubt it that he's gonna do that that that, that standard pressure, but is that pressure with, with uh, well, well, I mean, then again, you know, I'm thinking of like standard stim timing. Yeah, you know, actually, no, this is looking a little bit more like plus one stuff. Um, this is more of a like an actual plus one stim timing because a lot of times players will get plus one anyway, but they don't actually incorporate it into their build order. What they end up doing is they end up pushing out, but probably when it's about halfway done, they pressure and they're and it's still like a like one fourth of it's still not completed yet so they actually don't go into their their engagement with plus one now by that time either they lose their entire army or they won the game so you know the plus one will definitely help you know especially against zerglings uh, i believe oh they have 35 hp with zero armor by themselves i highly doubt it's getting characters already uh, he does have layered down he is getting a spire up so it looks like it's going to be a variation of three hatch needless just a little bit slower than normal Ah, no, he doesn't even have an Evo Chamber, so yeah, he doesn't even have our, uh, Carapace, but I'm just trying to do the math here. If he had plus one, that's are just doing seven damage per shot with plus one. So it takes, it takes one less shot, theoretically, for Marines to do damage. But I, I think that doesn't even matter, because probably in, in the end result of you actually target, or like hitting a Ling anyway, they probably have one HP regen anyway, so by the time that actually happens, you actually you have to kill off that one extra HP. So what I'm thinking about is like, you know, do 35 divided by seven, right? Okay, and then and then go decide to do, but then they have that plus one, and then they have like a, like a region of, of one HP in that in in between that time. And what I'm thinking is that one HP is actually going to make it another fire hit, so it's going to be about eight shots anyway. So I guess plus one actually isn't even that needy for for that timing especially i mean if you just put that in consideration because lings are going to be your, your, your greatest uh, you know enemy to do okay but these beetles are going to be out though will they be able to snipe off that's a lot of marines though ladies and gentlemen and i do not like the engagement for she, uh for sheepdog right now two uh mutilists have been sniped off so far leaving three mutilists left in that flock which is definitely not i don't think it should even be called a flock anymore does that the third base operational three sunkins there uh now, if he waits, if he waits too long, he's, he's not going to be able to break through this, though. So, with only three Sunkins right now, he could probably definitely break through this. Even maybe four, uh, alright, he's going to be able to go through this, but remember, there, there is a potential, there is a potential for a flank uh, from the rear side of this army right here, but he's just letting those Sunkins go up here. It looks like he's just going to go back home. Um, are putting them in c control groups? I don't know, but... Tyron back at home is... All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Marines are coming in here. Let's see if they can actually do the, the damage they need to be done here. He has 31 Marines in here, but there's a flank coming from the rear side right here. Drones are coming in, pulling off across the line here. It looks like there will be enough to break through this, though. Uh, very well played by Sheepdog. And that engagement really did nothing for Fat Man at all. I mean, killed off, what, two Sunkins? Very well played. Very uh, very well positioned himself. Uh, Sheepdog positioned himself very, very splendidly for that engagement right here. Now he had 31 uh, Marines from that engagement, and now he is back down to 20. Uh, I do not like the probability of actually winning this fight here. However, if he's, uh, if he's 
Find this tech switch bef before lurkers are out. He might be able to do some damage as he didn't invest in any kind of link pressure. And these sunkins are fairly damaged, at least two of two of which are. But lurkers are going to be morphing, so uh, this push probably won't do too much. I'd expect for Fatman to look to take a third beast right about now. Uh, he's got to still continue to reinforce though, however, and I don't like because what's going to end up happening is going to lose about like maybe five, five to ten marines by the amount of lurkers that are morphing right now. And ultimately not gonna be able to do too much. Uh, but Meatless really aren't gonna do too much. They're killing out, getting out reinforcements, but one even got two of them got sniped off. Three of which are gonna get sniped off. Three of them actually did get sniped off. Wow. Um, being a little careless there, Sheepdog. Um, I like the idea. All right, so he's gonna go out of the third base here. I like this a bit more. Uh, the third base may have to get canceled. Uh, this hatchery will probably have to get canceled for sure right here. Will the lurkers really get in position? That will be the that will be the greatest question right here. Um, now remember, once they borrow here, there's going to be no more reinforcements, but he's just going to lose all the lurkers, potentially. To uh, He's lost two of them so far. Uh, the lurkers are going to be out of position here. Will he stem in target fire? I uh, don't think he's paying attention. One has fallen down, leaving one lurker left right here. No, two lurkers left, excuse me. I didn't even see that other lurker right there. And will two lurkers actually be able to clean this up, though? It actually looks like three. Wow, I just missed a whole bunch of those lurkers. Wow. I did not, I did not see three of them there. Wait, well, you killed off the hatchery, though. that's a big deal though. Killing off the third base though, is really good for the herd on, which will definitely, you know, restrict, you know, Sheepdog to some extent. I mean, he's even, and, and the problem though is, you know, he's putting down a macro hatch, but the problem though is that he's not gonna have the economy to really make that effective enough, in my opinion. Um, well, he is floating a little high in that. I guess, I guess he's just not optimally, you know, producing as much. Because um, what he's trying to do, he's kind of like try to tech switch out of three hatch medalisks in 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 some regard. Uh, it's, this is kind of like a P, uh, PVZ build that he kind of went um, to some extent. Yeah, because the medalisks are. Well, I'll talk about that in a second. All right, so it looks like it's just gonna be going in here for some engagement right here. Um, and wow. Um, ow. All right, so anyway, like I was saying though. You know, what Sheepdog is kind of gone right now is he's gotten the, the standard 3 edge meat list. So the problem though is it, it tends to contain the Terran a, a lot better so you can get up your third and fourth base. And then, you know, Terran might have a little bit more difficulty. But that, that's the hope of really going the 3 edge meat list. You know, again, it's a cheesy build and doesn't always work. Uh, or executed correctly. Now, Fat, uh, you know, Sheepdog hasn't really gone that Sheepdog. Uh, Sheepdog's gone the Sling Lurker style again. And, you know, quite honestly, I'd, I'd prefer him just to go that from the beginning anyway. Uh, you know, it, it, it seemed to work out for him pretty well last game. It didn't get him a win, but he was playing it pretty well. I don't think his Meatless control is really worthwhile. I mean, he probably spent at least 800, 800 gas, you know, on those Meatlisks in general, where, where he could have had, you know, his Lurker shell that much quicker, and, you know, had better map presence and potentially contained the, the, the Terran. Now, oddly enough, Terran's yet to expand. I don't think he has a third CC up yet. Uh, and, yeah, I don't think he's building it right now. All right, so we have a flank coming out over here. I thought it was going to be a flank, but there is a engagement happening over here. Uh, that is a lot of lurkers, though. Let's look at these uh, unit companies. 45 marines to 38 links and 9 lurkers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of blood happening over here. If those lurkers can't get in position, they can do a lot of damage to this bio army, though. But there is trying to get a nice... Or Fatman trying to get a nice spread, though. But it is not enough, and he'll have to retreat. Nice engagement for Sheepdog. And... Uh, you know, this is the point, you know, the point where last game where he kind of just fell through the roof, you know, he, he really didn't do, he didn't perform optimally, and part of the reason for that is, well, he, he, he only has Ling Lurker, and eventually you just get so many, you just get so much production from, from towering off a two base, and even when that third base comes up, it's gonna be insane, uh, you know, if you're smart about your engagements, which Fatman was not from that one, oddly enough, uh, you know, Ling Lurker can get, you know, moderately, uh, hard countered, uh, you know, just by bio itself, or just start getting those tank protection numbers up, or seems like an SK Telecom style right now, is potentially the reason why Fatman's not doing as good as he did last game, and I think that's a mistake, I think Fatman, I think SK, SK style is definitely difficult to, to to pull off it's very powerful you know you don't need to you pretty much just spend all your gas on science and you get a lot more uh barracks uh production but that is a lot of links though and right now his his marine control really hasn't been spot, top of the line at this game it's been good it's just not been the best and that was not a good engagement for sheepdog right here i 
And, and you know, it, it, this is another reason, you know, I mean, Sheepdog has this army that's just, like, so good against just pure bio. Just, like, it's so good. The problem, though, is that this army, it, it takes, you know, some time to, to set up. I mean, the lurkers being more the specific, I mean, dealers of damage here. I mean, you have to keep in mind, I mean, they, they take, you know, you know, they're half a second, you know, yeah, pretty much half a second to really burrow and get in position there, you know, where they're not doing damage. And when you have this much, you know, bio out, or if you're going into, like, two bunkers where the lurkers can't even, like, do their uh, true damage on them, you know, it, they're really not cost-effective to the point where you can't really break down the, pr like, you know, the terror. Like, yeah, like, I could contain them, but if you're going to continue to go off that, like, really, like, like, just pure... that crap against uh marines unless you get around like that which can happen <laughs> and this is what happens when there's a complete surround that happens around a bio army but um at least that's what i think you know you you could feel free to disagree but they're just gonna leave the medics there to die i believe we had a drop i know we saw drop ships coming into play Ooh, nice good chance right there and it's gonna radiate trick over this uh mineral line right here that's gonna do a lot of damage to the drone count right there uh he did have drop ships I'm not sure if he still has them. He has, uh, yeah, he still has two dropships just lying around somewhere. All right, there's one dropship. And, I mean, nine, eight drone kills, Jesus. Uh, and the, the Scourge is still connecting. Uh, you know, not the perfect, you know, not the perfect use of the science missile. I mean, he got eight drones, I and mean, that's pretty big. But, he might have been able to get that with just like, irradiating a mineral line here. All right, so, where okay, he has a drop over here though. Uh, double drop, uh, double drop here. He's getting a lot of drones here. That's easily at least six, if not more. Ultras are out though. Um, now that radius actually do a ton of damage to those marines in general right here. You just target fire the hatch or the ultras cavern if you like to. You can kill off that um, plus two armor. I think is what the, that. It's it's the armor upgrade, but I believe it's plus two. Yeah, it has to be plus two for ultras. But there's gonna be more than enough links to do that. I'm surprised he didn't just pick up, but. With the amount of, like, map presence that Fat Man actually has on the map right now, it's pretty ridiculous, right? He is double expanding here to the bottom right, and I like this, but, I, I, you know, I'm a little honestly surprised by Sheepdog's performance here. You know, he's had, you know, not terrible engagements here, but he hasn't really shown to, like, advance, like... He hasn't really taken advantage of that advantage that he's had, and he's, he's just left, he's just a two-base Terran it's powerful. I mean, that's... Alright, there's a GG by Sheepdog. And I just want to talk about this for a second, because quite honestly, I am, you know, pretty surprised by this. I mean, Sheepdog was, you know, cons I mean, Fatman was consistently off of one base, or two, two base there, and Sheepdog, you know, with that two base, I mean, Terran was definitely being active, but if, if, he, if we saw Zerg do a four base Turtle Zerg style, that would be completely different. In general. You know, how do, I, how, do I, how do I point this out? Like, we would have had four... I mean, if he didn't... Again, like, if if he just went lurker, just straight up, you know, just somewhat moderately contain, take a while for that bio to come out, and that's what gives you enough time to get up your sunkins. And not only that, you know, four base turtles are, tends to get lurker tech anyway, because Metalisks don't really good... don't do well for defending. I mean, sure, you'll eventually tech to them to, you know, pick up reinforcements or harass late game, mid game, whatever, but... Generally speaking, the Lurker is the main media unit of that Zerg army that does DPS. Now, Ling tends to be the damage intakers that don't allow for them to die. But just talking about that real quick, I just wanted to just point that out there. Otherwise, guys, I mean, that's pretty much everything I could talk about. Uh, I I'm honestly surprised. I think, I think Sheepdog could have won that, quite honestly. I believe he probably could have won that with no problem. If... He took, if he had to do four base turtle circ, and I think that's the style that he should go. You know, if you like lurkers, that's fine. By all means, go for it. If you like Ling Lurker, that's the composition that will really do well in four base turtle, turtle zerg, and then you eventually tech into, like, ultralisks and, you know, defilers, and then Terran has a really di difficult time with Dark Swarm. I mean, think about it. They have no melee unit except the fire bat, and that just dies quickly to lurkers anyway. But, all right, guys, anyway, that pretty much sums this all up.
And uh, have a nice day, guys. Peace. And da -da 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 -da. we'll go into our next game, guys. So that means Sheepdog, or let me see. I forgot what this means right now. Um, poopsie. Poopsie. Um, hold on. I'm trying to change it. Ah, there we go. Got to alt tab out of that. And we got to change uh, Fat Man 1 to O. Oh. So another victory for... I forget actually who's winning right now. I, I don't have my piece of paper on me. But uh, that pretty much means insanity without limits won this series, guys. So we'll go on to our next series, guys. And uh, have a great day, guys. Peace.